cute. Thank you. Yeah. What smells like incense? What? Something smells like incense. Hey guys. It's been a while since I've done a talking video. Let you know what we're doing. So this is I don't know if you can recognize it. This is where we had the fire pit. Where we had the fire pit. Now there's a little sun shed all the way down there. You really can't see it. That's where she parks her truck. And do you remember I said she wanted to build her cabin up on this mound. So she pretty much marked off where she wants it. Ooh. She doesn't want it too close to the edge anymore. She wants to do something in the back of the cabin. Oh God, I'm so tired. We've been cutting down trees on the far end. Sorry if I'm off shaking because number one, I don't have the strength. I just went to the washroom and I'm like, I couldn't even pull my tights up how sweaty my body is with all the working that we've been doing. Anyhow, I don't know if you can see where there's markings. There's like little red tabs that she marked where she wants to build her house. It is in the back, but not far to the back. Almost in the middle of the this section of the land. And now, she is trying to cut down trees where she wants to car to come in from on this end. Oh, I'm so tired. Sorry guys if I'm out of breath. So you can see some posts here. Well, not posts, just markings. We have another one there, down there. Over here. But we've been cutting a lot of dead trees and a lot of trees that just have to come down. I'm sure the surveyors are going to come and they're going to recalculate everything in case we made a mistake but all these trees and because the property goes in an angle that way and that way it's hard to find a straight row <laughs> not as easy as it looks she pulled out the chainsaw and she started to cut so that is our plan so far and wherever this beautiful moss look at this my foot almost goes into it Look how mossy it is. She doesn't want to, look how soft it is. She wants to leave the moss, make it more of a wild. Anyhow, she's got plans. And the good thing is it's her place and she does it how she likes it. But sometimes when you see this moss really high, if you put your foot, there's either a piece of wood, like a fallen tree that's underneath. But as I'm walking, I'm noticing there's Maybe over here, there might be one, right there. I'm sure, but it's already rotting away. It's already turning into mulch for sure. I could feel one right here. I bet if I lift it, there's wood under there. Yeah, you could feel it right there, but it's already mulching down. But yeah, we filled a whole bunch of those bags, Erica's pulling off stumps now I stacked over here and I have a few more trees I gotta drag out and then she's gonna kind of come in from there her intention is go in here with the car and then I think leave that way I'm not sure exactly or maybe make a turn and then come back out this way so there's gonna be like a kind of a circle here not sure. All the way there, I'm not sure what she's doing. Probably planting more trees there. Um, and that end, of course, there's probably going to be a shed. Maybe a little guest house down there. Not sure yet. This, I think, is a beech tree, if I'm not mistaken. I love how they feel. They feel almost plastic. Like they're not real. Anyhow, I'm going to go help my daughter. I didn't bring a tripod, of course, because, you know, me, I'm... Yes, Erica? Yes, we don't have the... Um, the chainsaw is dead. 
Yeah, we all do it by hand. A lot of these have to be cleaned or they have to come down and be replaced. So there's a lot of young trees that we could use and replant them or just buy more and just place them wherever she wants. But that's the plan so far. Just wanted to tell you because you guys haven't heard from us. You've been looking at us enjoy the country but not work at it. And even though we did enjoy, actually when the kids were here, we really didn't do much work. All right, Erica.